Shalom, shalom, brother Rains. This is Apostle Vince Kali. Yeah, I'm going to continue where I've ended. I've ended. Remember what I've said. Remember, the, remember the, the the topic of our of our message today. If if, if whether the the prosperity gospel is a scam. Uh, remember uh, what I've said that. Uh, it is the will of God for us as the children of God uh, to be prosperous. It is the will of God. Hallelujah. According to the word of God, it is the will of God for us to be prosperous. So what I want to do here, I want to, 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 to give you guys the balance, to give you the balance, to know that um, there's also the doctrines and the teachings of prosperity, uh, which is empty and from the devil. Hallelujah. Because it's not necessary for us to be full of miserable blessings to prove God's grace and favor upon our life. The fact that we have uh, full of miserable blessings, it doesn't prove that there's God's favor and grace upon your life. Hallelujah. Because there are some ministers um, who give such teachings. Uh, most of them that are greedy and they have the mammon spirit in their heart in order to to rob the, the congregations in order to gain from them hallelujah so what i'm here to do even now today i feel the thing of the spirit uh the anointing of god to pray for those ones the blessing from god to, to those who want god to touch them financially uh what i'm wanting to, to do again i repeat i want to balance because there is the, the, that doctrine and that teachings about the prosperity blessings which are from the devil himself uh, from the ministers who are having the mammon spirit, spirit unto them hallelujah remember that before jesus was, was even born people were prosperous hallelujah before jesus himself was born People they were prosperous, hallelujah. So the prosperity when it's come to what Jesus has done unto us, uh, it is just um, it's just like um, let's say you are in the hotel, you are eating. Uh, it's just a dessert, hallelujah, of the gospel, hallelujah, because there is a many meal and there's a, 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 a dessert, hallelujah. You cannot be full because we have eaten the dessert, hallelujah. But we become full because we have eaten the, the main meal, hallelujah. So Jesus has came to, to save our soul, hallelujah. As I'm going to pray for you right now, those ones who receive a financial breakthrough, hallelujah. As I'm going to pray for you right now, you may receive the financial breakthrough, but if you, your heart is not being saved, or if you have not received Jesus as Lord and your Savior, and you receive the financial breakthrough, you are going to go to hell. Hallelujah! We need to balance as, uh, as ministers. Hallelujah! We have to, we have to tell our congregation, we have to tell our people. Hallelujah! That uh, people have received, they can receive the blessings, people they can receive the healing. Hallelujah! But if they have not received Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, their healing is not going to benefit them. If they have not received Jesus as Lord and their Savior, that, that financial breakthrough is not going to help them. Hallelujah. If they have not received Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, uh, that breakthrough that they have received is not going to, 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 to help them. Right now, let's go to, to, to the book of Matthew. Matthew 6, verse, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew 6, verse 33. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We should read like this. He who care for the sparrows and the grass of the fields care even more for us. He who cares for the sparrows and the grass and the field care even more for us. As you see that it is the will of God for him to take care of us. He can take care of us financially. He can take care of us 
when it's come to our health, he can take care of us when it's come to spirituality. Right now, I'm, I want to pray for those who are in need of the financial breakthrough in their lives. I want to pray for those uh, who want their financial breakthrough in their lives. I feel the anointing upon me today to pray for those who want the financial breakthrough. It is the will of God for us to be, finish, to be financially prosperous. And the word of God says that He cares for the sparrows and grass of the field. He even cares more for us. Hallelujah. Today I'm going to pray for those who want to receive a financial breakthrough in their lives. Let's go also to the book of Psalms, Psalms 23. Psalms 23, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, Psalm 23. If I need a financial breakthrough to, today, I'm going to pray for you. God has anointed me today to pray for those who want a financial breakthrough in their lives. Psalms, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. We should read like this. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside the still waters. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. One. Hallelujah. If you make the Lord, if you make the Lord your shepherd, you shall not walk. Hallelujah. If you make the Lord your shepherd, you shall not walk. That's the word of God itself in the, in, in the book of Psalm 23. That's one. The Lord is my shepherd. In other words, if you make the Lord your shepherd, you shall not want. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you make the Lord your shepherd. Today I want some people who are going to, who, who are saying, Lord, I want you to be my shepherd. Hallelujah. Because once you make the Lord your shepherd, you shall not want. Hallelujah. This is an equation with an answer. This means we have to do something in order to get some results. What we have to do? What we have to do is to make the Lord your shepherd. Once you make the Lord your shepherd, you shall not want. That's why I said this is an equation uh, with a product, with an answer, I can say. Hallelujah. Because if you make the Lord, you make the Lord. That's what you have to do. You have to make the Lord your shepherd. Hallelujah. Because there are so many shepherds in these days. Hallelujah. Some people, they are shepherds, they are, they, 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 are, they are sagomas. Hallelujah. Other people, uh, that shepherd is, 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 is their young ass, hallelujah. Other people, that shepherd is themselves because there are people who believe themselves, who think they themselves they are God, hallelujah. But if you make the Lord your God, your shepherd, you shall not want, not making your pastor your shepherd, not making your apostle your shepherd. Not making your prophet your shepherd, hallelujah, but making the Lord Jesus Christ himself the shepherd. Because the Christianity is not a great religion, but a Christianity is the relationship with God. You don't need your pastor to be the mediator between you and your God. You don't need your prophet, your prophet to be your mediator between you and God. You don't need your apostle to be your mediator between you and God. 
You don't need your sangoma to be your mediator between you and God. The Christianity is a relationship between God and man. That's the main reason Jesus Christ has came unto this other realm. He came so that we can, uh, we can have a relationship, a spirit-to-spirit -spirit relationship with Christ himself, with God. Hallelujah. Because Christ, he is a mediator between God and us. Where is Christ? Christ is in us. And Christ is also in heaven. Some people, they, they, they become confused when we say Christ in us and Jesus Christ himself is also in heaven. Hallelujah. But Christ is in, he is in us through the way. Because if we receive the way to receive Christ himself, remember that he is the way according to the book of John. He is the way. He was there in the beginning. He was the way. Everything that was created was created through him and for him. The thing that you see and the thing that you do not see was created through him and for him. Hallelujah. So he is in us through the way. Because he is the way. But himself spiritually, he is seated here at the right hand side of the Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So in order for us to have a connection with God, we, have, we, we must have Christ in us. So that there must be a spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication between us and God. There must be a spirit-to-spirit -spirit communication. That's why you don't need your pastor to be the mediator between you and God. You don't need your prophet to be a mediator between you and God. But Christ has come so that we can have ourselves. You as a Christian. You as a Christian. You're supposed to have a communion, a spiritual spirit communion with God. You don't need other person. You, need, you don't need other person to communicate with you. As I'm here right now, as I'm going to pray for you right now to receive this financial breakthrough, to receive this financial blessing. Hallelujah. It's just a gift that God has put it unto you. But you yourself as a Christian, you must come unto the time that you don't rely unto, 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 uh, unto our pastor. We must come unto, uh, unto the place where you don't rely unto our prophets, our apostles. Hallelujah. Because that's what Jesus has come to do. During the days of the Old Testament, during the days of the apostles, I mean during the days of the prophets, during the, uh, the days of the, of the Old Testament. Hallelujah. People... They used to, to rely unto the prophet. Like for example, the, the children of the Israelites, they used to rely unto Moses in order for in order for Moses to communicate um, on, our, on their behalf uh, to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, Moses was like a mediator between them and God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Christ has came so that we ourselves, I don't know how. Uh, how, old, uh, how old you are or how young you are or maybe you're a male or maybe you're a female uh, or maybe you're still a girl or you're still a boy but once you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit once there's Christ in you you yourself you have a spirit to spirit relationship with God you don't need a to, 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 to to speak on your behalf you don't need a nyala to speak on your behalf. But Christ in you is enough. Christ is enough. Christ is enough for you to have a relationship to relationship spirit with God. And the word of God said in Psalm 23, The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, you mean you yourself, you make the Lord your shepherd. Hallelujah. You don't need a pastor to make the Lord for you a shepherd. You don't need a prophet to make the Lord for you a shepherd. You don't need, you don't need a Sangoma to make a, 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 a Lord for you a shepherd. But you yourself will take a decision. Hallelujah. As I'm preaching right now, Makala Bushanta Sika. The way that I'm speaking right now, it is spirit and life, and it's touching someone's heart. 
the word that I'm speaking right now is spirit and his life and it's touching someone's heart right now. Whosoever is listening unto this word, this is not just a mere word, but the word is I'm proclaiming right now, it is spirit and his life and it's touching someone's heart and it's touching someone's spirit. Today I want someone to say, man of God, I want to make the Lord my shepherd. Because people that run to prophet, people that run to apostle, people that run to pastor, people that run to nyanga, people that run, that run to sangomas, is because of one reason. They have not made the Lord God their shepherd. You don't need another dead person in order to have a relationship with God. Hallelujah. Trust is enough. So that you must have a communion with God so that you can have a spiritual spirit conversation with God. You don't need another person. People that run from church to church. People they run from place to place. They go to Limpopo, they go to Mozambique, they go to Zambia, they go to South Africa looking for spiritual solution. They lack one thing. They have not made God, the, 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 the Lord God, their shepherd. That's what the Lord God said in Psalm 23. The Lord God is my shepherd. I shall not want. How can you want if the Lord God is your shepherd? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have a one because you have made the Sangomas of Shepherd. Hallelujah. You will have a one because you have made your pastor, your prophet, your apostle, your shepherd. Instead of making the Lord your God your shepherd. All those people have not created nobody. Only the Lord God who is the creator of the universe. The creator of, of everything. The thing that you see and the thing you do not see. He is the creator of, the, of, of everything. He is the one who knows your future. How can you relax to someone who don't know your future? Hallelujah. How can you relax to someone who has not created anybody? You have to rely on God. You have to make your Lord your God your shepherd. Hallelujah. You have to make your Lord your God your shepherd. Then you shall not want. Right now I want to pray for someone. Who say, Apostle, I want to make Lord Jesus Christ my shepherd. Right now, whenever you are, you may be here in South Africa, you may be here in Deben, or in Eastern Cape, or Western Cape, or in Jopek, or Limpombo, or Free State, I want to pray for you right now. Or you are in Zambia, or you are in Botswana, or you are in Nigeria, or in US, or in Europe or in Asia. I want to pray for you right now. Right, firstly, I want to pray for those who say, I want to make Lord Jesus Christ my shepherd so that I can have a spiritual spirit communion with God, so that I can have a spiritual spirit relationship with God. Whenever you are, I want you to say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you are the Lord and Savior of my life. As from today, I give my life unto you. As from today, I am born again, not of the will of man, not of the flesh, not of the blood, but of God. As from today, all of my sins are forgiven. I'm washed. I'm cleaned. I'm the new creature in Christ Jesus Christ. Whosoever has prayed this prayer, we welcome you, my brother. We welcome you, my sister. We welcome you unto the body of Christ. Go and attend any Bible-believing church. Any Bible-believing church. Hallelujah, where we are staying right now. And then secondly, I want to pray for those who want to receive their financial breakthrough right now. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I speak favor 
upon your life. In the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, receive, receive your breakthrough right now. Receive your financial breakthrough right now, right now, right now, right now. I destroy all the powers of darkness. Every generation cases which relate unto your finances, receive it right now. Receive it right now. In the mighty name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, receive it right now. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Breakthrough has come unto your life in the mighty name of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As from as from this week, the starting of this week, we are going out. We are going out. We are going to do some open airs. We are we are going to people. We are going to people because people uh, we have not received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. They are outside. They are outside. So we are going to go outside and evangelize and evangelize and to, 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 to reach more souls who have not received Jesus as their Lord and in their Savior. So thank you very much, saints. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ himself. Have a blessed Sunday indeed. Shalom, shalom, and shalom.